I think it was good, you know. I chatted with um, Danny Brown. I was actually almost calling her Brown, you know, and, and so on. Those are kind of um, the ups and downs that we get in this <laughs> program, <laughs> pronouncing names and so on. But I've enjoyed myself, as you know, as usual. And I find it at the beginning usually very tasking, you know, knowing the way um, the program has been designed in the sense that we don't really follow a script, you know, so mm -hmm. it's a natural flow. And uh, for every episode, I find that it's a new experience. I think that's really what I get from Chat with Mabel. I meet new people, different way, different flow, and so on. And um, um, this one has been quite good. I've enjoyed myself, and I think, wow. Uh, what I like about Chat with Mabel is um, Chat with Mabel is actually the first chat show in Nigeria. You know, I came up with Chat with Mabel because, you know, having worked for the news section, we worked for drama, being a director, producer, you know, and all that, you know. And I find that even when I go on set and when people get to interview me, and I go blank, you know, this is, they just throw me certain questions and I say, oh, how do I answer this? You know, and then I find that I'm not flowing. And I thought that it would be good to come up with a program, you know, where everybody can relax, you know, flow, rather than interview, let it be a chat, because anything goes. You can speak from your heart, your mind, and so on. We can have a laugh, can have a crack, and everything doesn't have to be serious, you know, and that's really uh, what I like about it. And now, obviously, the, the breakers that we have, the crew, and so on, though they find me very, very tough, and they think this woman you know, is a killer, you know, at the end of the day. We, but with the limited resources that we have, you know, we do try to do our best. And um, I find that, um, um, how do I put it now? The editing style is very different. And that is a you know a good thing, and that's also that was something that was created for Chat with Mabel, that is you know we're never in a hurry to edit our program, you know, and um, they I like the zoom thing, I like the close up. I'm a close up woman, mm -hmm. uh, you know. I I like the camera to speak its language, mm -hmm. and while we do our bit on the set as well. What I don't like about Chat with Mabel, the stress. It's too stressful. Mostly the editing part, you know. And also, you know, going on set, I have wearing makeup. I hate makeup. <laughs> I, you know, I like usually my rap and just being simple at home. But when I have to go on, on set and I have to put on all this, you know, all this makeup and all that, and then afterwards, then we have to get on the editing table and we have to be so, you know, um, precise, you know. That's what I don't like about Chat with Mabel. I think that's, you know. And it's tough, you know. So but if one day somebody can take it away from me. I don't mind. <laughs> Chat with Mabel is going to go places. Chat with Mabel started the year 2001 and we had a break for some time so you know the Mabel is a more matured woman now a new start a new thing young well I was younger then but the whole ideology is still there so um, Chat with Mabel would go on and the way I want to pass it on also is the new academy that we're setting up to train new um, people to be hands-on on true production. It's not just going to school. Going to school, I went to school, I studied it, but I had to do my own apprenticeship as well. And I would encourage people to do that, the technical know-how. And when things are not going good, mostly in this sort of country, where things can just go wrong. Imagine what happened today, you know, our crew didn't turn up, you know. So we had to make do. Well, we still had a good show. 
So, and what does that mean? It comes from training. If you know the technical know-how, then you have to make do as it is. And that's it. All right. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, ciao.